Excellency Vice Premier Hu Lifang, Honorable Members of the Chinese Delegation, Honorable Ministers, Excellencies, Ladies and Gentlemen, Assalamu Alaikum and a very good evening. Excellency, thank you very much for visiting Pakistan and have time to celebrate jointly Iron Brothers from China and Pakistan the 10th anniversary of CPAC. This great journey of friendship between Pakistan and China started immediately after China won its independence back in 1949. But this journey was accelerated through sincerity of purpose and commitment by many great Pakistani leaders, starting from late Prime Minister Zulfikar Ali Bhutto, who made very valuable contribution in terms of promoting this friendship. And then, in between all subsequent leaders were very committed to promote this friendship. And therefore, this is a unique friendship a unique relationship where the entire spectrum of Pakistani nation, people from all walks of life, all political parties, all institutions, they are committed to this great friendship. And then in April 2015, Your Excellency President Xi Jinping was very kind to visit Pakistan. Of course, that was a visit which was postponed earlier for reasons well known to us and not to be described here. Had that delay hadn't taken place, these CPEC projects would have blossomed and some of them would have been completed much earlier. In April 2015, this agreement of CPEC was signed between President Xi Jinping and Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif. And then we saw, at lightning speed, projects were undertaken and completed. This is still in our memory, that at that point in time, power outages had crippling impact on our industry and agriculture. Our exports, were damaged irreparably because foreign importers would not trust Pakistani exporters because we didn't have energy to manufacture those export orders. Our agriculture had become pale. Our industry had come to a grinding halt and thousands and thousands of workers were out of jobs. Excellency, this was the time when CPAC came to Pakistan's rescue. And as you said, that some of the projects were completed 
in a record period of time. This was under the joint leadership of President Xi Jinping and Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif. I will not go into details because those have been very ably explained by you and Dr. Professor Chaudhary H. Iqbal. Suffice it to say that an amount of $25 billion were invested during this period. Hundreds and thousands of job opportunities were created and production and exports were enhanced. I think this was a game changer and this was the result of the vision and commitment and friendship President Xi Jinping has for Pakistan and the people of Pakistan. And Vice Premier, you are a linchpin. At that time, you were the chairman of NDRC. And I know for a fact, because I had dealt with you in those days, along with my colleagues, you were very helpful to support CPAC projects speedily. And uh, my friend, Vice Minister Sun Widong, he was our ambassador not only ambassador of China, but ambassador of Pakistan as well. He was very supportive. He was very helpful. I can go on and go on. And this story of great friendship will not end, but the night will fall. Vice Premier, we had uh, other segments today in this ceremony, we had to drop a few of those because of uh, uh, devastating incident of terrorism which took place in Bajor yesterday. And our heart goes out to the families of the de departed soul. And this is, again, a very important subject of our joint cooperation. We have to jointly deal with this menace. Pakistan has paid a huge price. Almost 80,000 Pakistanis have laid their life to fight this menace of terrorism and we defeated it effectively years ago. And it is a great commitment and a great manifestation of our will to fight this menace till it is wiped out not only from the face of Pakistan but also in this region and in an extended way globally. Excellency, now we are entering the second phase of CPAC which is even more interesting and extremely helpful in promoting investments, progress and prosperity in Pakistan and also in the region. And you have highlighted important areas of this second phase of CPAC, which is high quality development, which is growth corridor, special economic zones, livelihood corridor, innovation corridor, green corridor, and openness and connectivity. There is an effort, Your Excellency, to bypass Pakistan by some countries in this process of connectivity. And I have no doubts that Pakistan and China together will fill in the gap and this corridor which already has been established between North and South will extend 
in many ways to include the entire region and also other parts of the world. Gawadar, you have rightly pointed out, was a few years ago, was a small village. Today, it is a, a busy city with huge potential in time to come. Gawadar port will become very busy and I think CPAC will ensure Gawadar one of the most busy ports in the region and our government is uh, placing due focus and efforts to develop this port with full speed and commitment. We have allocated sufficient resources. Electricity has now been available in Gawada, drinking water is available and further developments are on the way as I speak. Excellency, Pakistan is going to turn around its economy by the grace of God through our multiple initiatives and programs. But let me, at this point in time, thank you and thank President Xi Jinping and thank Chinese government and people for supporting us at this critical juncture. Loan rollovers by Chinese banks, including Exim Bank, Bank of China, and other commercial banks, state-to-state -state safe deposits to the tune of billions of dollars in the last four months has been of immense help to us. And I can assure you from the core of my heart that myself, my colleagues sitting here, Foreign Minister Bilawal Bhutto Zardari, Finance Minister Hesab Dar, Planning Minister Asin Iqbal and all other colleagues sitting here and government officials and the people of Pakistan in the four nook and corner in this country will remain ever so grateful to you and President Xi Jinping for supporting Pakistan financially in this very difficult time. And we shall never forget this very kind generosity and favor of yours for all time to come. But I want to say and add something here. We want to move away from these loans and borrowed monies, sums of monies. We want to move away from having handouts, aid and doles. We really want to stand on our own feet. We really want to show to the world that our people are brave people. They have great tenacity, great energy, and they are capable of facing the most difficult challenge and yet survive. The discussion and negotiation with IMF has been one of those challenges. And together with your support and our brotherly country's support, we have sailed through this storm successfully. But now is the time for us to have a reflection, introspection, and pause, and to carve out our way forward, which will make Pakistan and Pakistani look decent, respected in the eyes of our friends and foes. And the only way forward is to emulate Chinese model of growth. Even today, with these very difficult circumstances around the globe, your annual growth is still 
around five and a half percent, which is commendable. And of course, in time to come, it is going to further improve. Your Excellency, this is where we need your support. This is where we need your expertise and learn from your experience. It is not a joke to take 800 million people out of the pit of poverty. Today, they are <clears throat> great contributing hands in the development of China just in a matter of three and a half decades. It's no less than a miracle. It has not happened anywhere else in the world. And therefore, it has happened only through visionary leaderships, dynamism, and hard work and untiring efforts, and a journey of sweat and blood. I would be extremely grateful that today we agree to announce joint working groups to evaluate this growth model and convert this into under Pakistan's prevailing circumstances. And I want to assure you, this nation, 220 million people of Pakistan, all political parties, political leadership, military leadership, judiciary, doctors, engineers, on one thing, there is total unanimity that China is our true and most sincere friend. Here is the time that we should now make use of this opportunity because time and tide wait for none. This is an opportunity we want to cash upon. I would like to request you and propose that let's constitute a joint committee to look into these matters and come up with a sound proposal and which we can jointly implement with great speed. And I have no doubt, ladies and gentlemen, that Pakistan soon one day will stand on its own feet. We won't have to beg and borrow. We will generate our own resources through untiring efforts as the Chinese have done. We will alleviate poverty as China did. We will provide jobs as China did. And that will be the biggest gift we can offer to our ancestors. That will be the biggest source of satisfaction to those millions who gave their lives for Pakistan. Ladies and gentlemen, let's celebrate this great day, this great event in this spirit and inshallah we will be marching in that direction very, very speedily. Pakistan, Cheen Dosti, Zindabad, Pak China Friendship, Zindabad. Thank you very much.